Uh, hi everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hilly and, and tonight, along with... Thanks and might, Lieutenant Akir, at your service! <laughs> and welcome back to a Potheon after an absence of a few days. Uh, yeah, my internet provider, or rather, our internet provider, uh, they crapped out in the region for some reason for some 36 hours or so. Either way, blah. <laughs> I can't really stream when there's no internet, huh? The best I could do is record a video <laughs> on my own. Yeah. Uh, you were able to use your phone's internet, but that's not the best idea to stream with. Yeah, mobile data gets really expensive quick, and I'm pretty sure streaming two hours of this would be more than one gigabyte of streaming. <laughs> Uh, unless I yeah. unless I stream it like a post stamp uh, quality or something. Yeah, uh, we, we were planning to stream earlier today, but uh... yeah, just resting <clears throat> because my sleep schedule has been fucked over again. Anyways, last time we bested both Athena and Poseidon. And only Ares stands in our path towards Zeus now. So, let's go find the old ruckus maker. And, well, wage war with the god of war. Yeah, oh, as your phone says, I'm probably... Lord Zeus sees all that we see. Oh, Mr. Zeus, I'm hopefully healthy again now. Though I will still take it easy. Yeah, always best to for... A while after sickness seems to be gone, because typically the system remains drained for a bit longer. Yeah, and I also be drained from uh, having the nephew and niece here. This is no place for bloodshed. Let's see. Hera had reared a violent son whom she had borne to Zeus, Ares, a god irrescable, hard to govern, one whose mind knew no respect for others. And no respect for... <laughs> For common, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, no respect for uh, not being in public naked, seeing as every depiction of him so far has been in the nude with only a shield or so. Uh, you, you do know in the Olympics it was a requirement to do the contest naked, right? Yeah. Anyways, let's deal with the door guards. I don't remember <laughs> why it was a I think one, there was for more than one reason. Probably in part so nobody could be sneaking stuff in or something. Yeah, and also to uh, show off the muscles and all that. Yeah. And it's also, since around the time, it was very warm. So, a lot of clothing in those contests. You'll probably be boiling. Yep. Okay, let's repair our armor a bit. I can't say I like the flying enemies because they so, tend to... this is the Slayer of Gods. You've built quite the bloody reputation for yourself, Nicandrios. A warrior worthy of my admiration. I bow to your prowess and take delight in the blood we shall spill together. Now do what you do best. Kill. Kill the Ares. And he 300s us. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. That never kick. And of course, would we expect anything else from Ares' trial other than anything other than a bloody bluff? No. <laughs> A bloody blood uh, bloodbath. <laughs> Literally. Yep. <laughs> okay. Okay. At least the now. The I was going to say at least the trap seemed to work against them as well, but no. And one thing we yeah, are lucky though is that this is a free for all. Oh dear God! Okay, we could try and make our way up 
as soon as possible, a but I get the feeling there's going to be stuff hidden around here. I saw a cyclop. Yep. Oop. Also, might as well chuck a few of these out. Yeah. Oh. see a lot of stuff about lions recently. No. Oh. That was the Eurasian alliance in Eurasia. Uh, you know, Europe and Asia. Yeah. However, the lost ones are in India. Okay. But not there. many do, and they look slightly different. But it, you can say they have more underbeard than... They, they have a mane, but most of the mane is under the shin and neck. And have a fluffier tail tip. But otherwise they're a bit skinnier. And the YouTube did also say they looked a bit more sadder. So, uh, neck beard lions? Kinda. They still have hair on the neck, just most of the fluff, the fluff is long and uh, on the throat and under the shin. Okay. So, I guess yeah. those are some lions that the rumors did not get to. Speaking of lion. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that <laughs> either I forgot or I just didn't remember I just didn't encounter them before. But apparently there are lions in the game. Okay. Holy And yeah, Ares. Basically, he, he is akin to corn with all of this, huh? He doesn't care uh, who his blood flows as long as it does flow. Yeah, you could just say that. I was to share that info as well earlier. In the 40k lore, it has been mentioned one of Kuhn's main names may have been Ares. Just swimming in glitter and blood. Oh, God, but yeah. Gorn is one of the old, older uh, El Chaos Gods, so I'm actually the youngest. So it wouldn't make s nothing impossible for Aries to so have been Corn. Yeah. In 40k lore, that is. Yeah. So take that little contest. We came to 40k lore. Not saying Aries in our world is Corn. I'm not saying that. You're saying that in 40k. Hmm. Ares uh, and Korn might have been the same in that world, in that lore. Let's see. So don't take me out of context. Yeah, okay, because it's almost the end of the year, it's to be expected, but there might be fireworks audible in the background. Like they are going yeah. on right now. Yeah, I've been having some, but not as many as the other years. Like the... No, really, some would have dared to do it before Christmas and all, but how many days lost? They don't need this week. Like, uh, three days I don't know if someone started, but not as many. Yeah. Okay, uh, what have we here? Uh, a lot of bodies. <laughs> More bodies? Oh, it's one big elevator fight. Okay, we'll just have to dodge the traps and, well, end every idiot that decides to jump down in this thing. Yep. That. What was he on with? You... That was a spear, right? Not sure. I'm a bit. It looks like. It looks like some sort of extremely long sword. It... Oh, it... yes, it's flat. <laughs> oh wait, wait is this? Thought... Wait, it was as a spear or a rifle? Or a musket. But no, that, that could be a flax, but that's Dacian weapon. Uh, now it's called Romania. 
Okay, for a bit it looked like we were going down there. I'm guessing that if there were too many enemies alive at once, the platform would go down. But seeing as they were all basically unarmed except for a shield, that was actually pretty easy. Okay. Uh, also, I checked uh, what it actually was called with the style here, like styled after the uh, paint, the painting on the Greeks' vases and such. Uh, those oh. vases were called amphoras, I believe, or something akin to that. Bye bye. <laughs> you really right. wanted to catch the elevator, don't we all? Uh, I think I heard the word before, just never heard it in proper context. Okay. And personally, as much as I keep forgetting the damn name of them, I would, uh, I certainly wouldn't mind owning like a replica M4 at one point or another. Still pottery wear, but not original, of course, because those things would be extremely expensive. Just more, yeah, a modern-made one. <clears throat> yeah. Let's see. Many of that, uh, uh, many of us that have dwellings on Olympus have suffered at the hands of men, bringing grievous woes one upon the other. So suffered Ares when Otis and mighty Ephialtes, the sons of Aliosus, uh, bound him in cruel bonds, and in a waxen jar he lay bound for thirty months. And then would Ares, insatiate of war, have perished had not the stepmother of the sons of Aliosus, the uh, Butatius. I'm not even going to try, brought tidings unto Hermes, and Hermes spared away Ares, who was now sorely distressed, for his grievous bonds were overpowering him. Or, now I remember this. I, I thought this was a Norse myth, but no, it's... <laughs> it, nope, that was a big one. The, <laughs> a, a Greek myth that uh, Overly Sarcastic Productions made a video on. But basically, yeah, Ares got kidnapped by... Uh, <laughs> two cyclopses and stuffed in a jar for a year. <sighs> like, I, I know he's all about the, the war the and the sword ring and such, but that's a bit <laughs> doing it much with the whole jarhead term. Oh, good gods, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see. We have 10 gears, 10 of those, so we might as well make a few more oils or oh. broken, <clears throat> bro breakable walls. Also, I we've seen these drank. a few times over. I thought you drank the Greek fire. <laughs> that, that, that certainly would be a spicy drink, but no, it's not advisable. Yeah, the sound effect that I saw the clicky baby go, wait, do you drink it? Why did he drink it? Hmm. <laughs> also, I just uh, I just know got a ping from Steam that that has disconnected, but everything else seems to still be connected. So I'm guessing just Steam is having an issue. Also, these things I'm pretty sure if we hit them with an arrow, it'll just drop the contents down for a trap. Imprisoned we, the god of war. Escape did he, and vengeance took. Okay, not Cyclopses, Giants. Forever to kill. Kill, kill, kill for Ares! Oh, great, now we have to fight these two. Them and every other... ...idiot running in here. Actually, now that I think about it, war is more like Athena's, or st war with strategy and such, is more Athena's thing. And then Ares is more of the plain berserking. So why did the only one of those open up? It, it, no, it's not even berserk, it's more of bloodlust. Yeah. Like, a berserker be going to a, a, a sort of controlled rage. But I usually do it uh, to protect others or willingly sacrifice themselves, uh, risk sacrificing themselves, self impact for victory. But these are 
This is more we just bloodlust. Me. Like, me down. I mean, I agree. You could definitely think the Zerg fits in with the Aries. But then you look at Squint and you realize there are some points not fitting. Like, you know, I could see some Berserkers would. Some could probably work with Aries, but mainly actually worship Odin. Mainly Odin, actually. Oh. Odin as the main deity, and Odin wasn't. Uh, you know, Odin. Yeah. Okay, let them deal with that for a bit. One of them is almost but, done. Yeah. Aeris is more of. Just for the bloodshed itself. Yeah. <laughs> That's one gone. And two. <laughs> okay, uh, having summons really does help a lot in this game, especially since it keeps the big guys off of our ass. Okay, patch that up. And we might as well use one of these to top off our health just a bit. Now, Phobos and Deimos still need to be beaten, and the Steam connection is back, so must have been on their end only, as I said. Yeah, it could be, it'd be something to the local area, since they are very worldwide, so something could happen to the Netherlands, may happen, something to the entire Europe, sometimes to the world. So I did not get notification of that uh, on my end, uh, so yeah. Yeah. I was pretty sure this would be an orc's uh, holiday. Because just everything is fighting everything. Uh, I think I told you about the story where a orc actually ended up in the warp, on a warp a planet in the Eye of Terror. And yeah, he said his tribes are repeatedly every day resurrected the fight yeah. again and again. And he's having fun of his life. Let's see. Aphrodite, Bear to Ares, the Shield Piercer, Phobos, Terror, and Deimos, Fear. Terrible, yeah, terrible gods who drive in disorder. Who, yeah, who drive in disorder the close ranks of men in numbing war with the help of Ares, Sacker of Towns. Mm. Hello there. A challenger approaches. Let the blood flow in the name of our father. Kill. Kill for Ares! Okay, just straight up. <laughs> you sure getting your horse in close quarters is a good idea, dude? <laughs> I, I was trying... I was intending to go down here for... to get away from them for a bit, but... Uh, <laughs> it's actually working out a lot in my favor. Yeah, you are using strategies, and they are not. Now they are basically panic, and and they, they don't really do tragedy. What the heck do you make me think of a uh, Disney Circles? Uh, uh, those two imps. <laughs> I, I forget what they were called. And uh, they had them done. Scream and panic. Could be. At least that's what the, what the names in Swedish. Skreek, uh, skreek or panic. Scream and panic. I forgot who was who though. Mm, it doesn't I really matter too much. Was, I think the skinny one was panic. And the shabby one was uh, scream. Mm. Yeah, it does sound like they would fit with these two. But... Uh, yeah, Phobos yeah, and Deimos are Ares' sons, not uh, Hades'. Actually, does H yeah. Hades have any sons of anyways? Uh, yes, he has several. He... Okay. <laughs> Just for the likes of... I think he even... I think it was in one of the myths he slept with a Spartan queen. 
while everyone else was fighting. Or something like course. that. Like, when I was fighting, you snuck in. Uh, and I'm thinking of that uh, that me that meme with uh, uh, come on over, uh, babe. My parents are away, uh, can't. I'm doing such and such. Or if, uh, it basically a, a four-panel meme uh, where the, the fourth one is always the one getting called, rushing over like their asses on fire. <laughs> Anyways. Now, Diomedes of the loud war cry drove at Ares with his spear of bronze, and Pallas Athene uh, sped, its mi yeah, sped it mightily against his nethermost belly, where he was girded with the, his tassels, or tasslets, whatever. There he did uh, trust and smite him, rending the fair flesh, and forth he drew the spear again. Then brazen Ares battled loud as 9,000 warriors or 10,000 cry in battle. Okay. Diomedes, Diomedes. I, I certainly remember the name, but I'm forgetting the, the person behind the name. Hey, oh. more fireworks. Someone will be supposed to. He's was the the king of the queen that he just slept with. I just talked about. It, it's a guy, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, I said the queen of the king. The king of the queen. Oh I mean. God. Yeah, that's okay, there's going to be a gimmick here. He's, okay, either I'm not hitting, or he's not taking damage. Hmm. Do I have to chuck this at you? <laughs> okay, just freaking leap up from nowhere. These are here for a reason. And they're responding, so... Yeah, there is a gimmick going on here. Hmm. I'm guessing I need to hit him with this to make him vulnerable, but he's jumping around a lot. He's not taking damage. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, the I suspect Ares and Fina both are gods of war, but uh, they are they are different aspect of war. Yeah. Yeah. Athena, yeah, yeah. The it, it makes him vulnerable. Yeah. Fina, the ordinary strategic one, while Ares represents the horrors and chaos of war. Yeah. Okay, so we do need to hit him with these to make him vulnerable for a bit, and of course he jumps up the moment I throw. Uh, uh, oh. Hello, Rum! Hello. Hey, Rum. Hello. It, it, it is Rum in front of me, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's hard to see with that helmet blinding me. Yeah, because, yeah you might want to turn that helmet a bit so you can actually see. But how are you, Ram? Uh, doing decently enough here? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good, all things considered. I, I'm getting better. Uh, okay. Honestly, I'm just kind of waiting. Mom's birthday was yesterday. We celebrated a bit. I can eat the cake, but I had some jello instead. Okay. Jello. 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 Yellow. Okay. Okay. You thought I was talking about the color? No, no, no. What you said? Shallow. What the heck is shallow? <laughs> he wasn't eating shallows, the Pokemon. Uh, okay. Anyways, I was bored, and because it all lit up for some reason, your video game list lit up. Uh, one thing that I think can make you playing. Um, 
House of the Dead Overkill easier? Mm hmm? Yeah, I know that you have House of the Dead Overkill on your game. One thing you can do to make it easier on streaming, buy Typing of the Dead. It comes no. with... <laughs> it... I'm the... guessing it comes with a PC version of Overkill? It comes with the PC version of Overkill and... Well, yeah, the PC version of Overkill is extended cut, which has a couple of extra levels. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> and well, that's the other meat is done. Man, this rendition of God of War is weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the gameplay is a lot flatter, you could say. Yeah. And, and that was so Oscar hiding under my bed. And not on my bed, under my desk. <laughs> I got a bunch of games, and by complete accident, a copy of Batman Arkham, Arkham Knight, which I kind of already have, for PS4, so... Eh. I have one you can give to someone. Where did he go? Yeah, Oscar's right. been sleeping in my room a lot more often. Maybe he likes your room. Could be. He's been sleeping in and on an old backpack of mine. And this place has gotten quiet. quiet. Okay, I was going to say quiet, but then I heard shouting. There's a lot and less fighting going on. I was about to say, why is everything bleeding? It, it's oh, Ares' realm. Ares to me. Uh, yeah, I got a war, got it. Yeah. Yeah, and he's... <laughs> He's gone full. They're gone full corn. Uh, oh, Ares is out for a walk. That's why. <laughs> and okay. Bleeding. Yeah, that's a word. That accursed spike. Never more will I be so humiliated by the touch of such an inferior thing. I'll wet my blade with your throat, Nicandrios. <laughs> And we just stab him in the ass with the spear. <laughs> Though in his defense, his ass did break the spear. Oh, Wait, right. what? No one draws blood from the bloody god. Yeah, the, the spear broke. <laughs> okay, they, they had to know that line. They, that line must be a reference to corn. It probably is. <laughs> Too late. Yeah, well. No, I would not be surprised if it was accidental, but still. No one stopped the love for the bloody gods. Oh. <laughs> Gotta be careful because I'm out of armor. That was. I, I'm gonna blame Helia for this. I almost start imagining Iris fighting Helia here now. With still the spear stuck in his arse. Yep. Yeah, you the heck was oh okay. dear. Ooh. Hey dumb question, do you have all of the DLC for Lara Croft and the Guardian of Light as well as the Temple of the Tigers? Uh probably. I don't. Mm -hmm. I was asking because if we ever do co-op on that, I kind of might want to... I mean, I don't think it affects the story, but there's also extra maps, so I might want to check that. Okay. If, oh, like, at least you know, we got I, rid of his shields. If, ow. I think me and he actually talked about the, the, if you were to be interested in streaming that game. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay, that was as close to death as we've gotten so far. And now it's just a throwing match between a god and a man. Hey, it's pretty much hot chocolate pills. <laughs> there we go. Smack him across the face. <laughs> I find that funny. Well, funny and kind of heartwarming, you know. And everything. Let's see. Witness the countless battles and bloodshed, this grim helmet carries the power of savage warfare. 
Enemies fall like lamb before his brutal visage. Attacking with full stamina inflicts 25% more damage. Okay. <laughs> and that's six gods dead. Let's see how many more we'll need to follow. And... Huh, that's odd. Oh well. <laughs> okay. They really do not seem too bothered by the statues of their of the gods just collapsing in on themselves. Then Artemis and Demeter, when will your madness end? Please, can't you just leave us alone? Are we, anyways? This is the Acropolis. No, 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 not where are we, what, who are we that we're killing the entire Greek pantheon. <laughs> yeah, we're playing as Nicandrios, and the, the, bleh, bleh, the story behind everything is that basically Zeus has grown fed up with humanity, and, again, <laughs> and has basically uh, decided to just fuck this shit, I'm out, and recalled all again. of the gods to Olympus. Again. And to leave humanity to just die off. And well, Again. humanity, as it tends to, takes offense at that, and Nocandrios goes to climb the mountain to kick their fucking asses back down it. Yeah, and this is... He, he has he had done it five times. So this is the sixth time, but this is the time, I guess, someone picks up to your say no. Okay, now why are we going here? Okay, back down the mountain, I'm guessing. So yeah, ba basically, it's just Kratos with another name. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, come on! I was just saying, lovely music! Then that happened. And then it dies. Luckily, yeah. it starts up pretty quickly again. Also, he said we didn't have a Greek helmet for Rome here. Uh, yeah, if I'd known you'd show up, I would have prepared one uh, forward facing. <laughs> okay. Luckily, the game auto saves pretty frequently. So, yeah, let's try that again. <laughs> yeah, it turns out that there's. Uh, yeah, this game is a bit like a Metroidvania in that you have your goals, but you can also just go exploring around. So, ex and find a lot of other stuff that can help you along with things. Okay, uh, yeah. yeah, things uh, wait, wait, wait. have not wait, go gone back. well here. Go back, hmm? go back. What happened to the horse? I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be a statue. Either way, I, it looks I like it got pile-drived. Yeah. Wait, didn't you pile-drive a horse earlier? No. I I'd beat up a bunch hard. of horses with a bronze maze. But I didn't pile drive any. Oh dear. Uh, what were you told us to run? I don't remember. I just came by to say hi. Okay. Hi! And I'm not really gonna stay. I just needed to talk to somebody for some random bullshit because it's kind of lonely, but I do have mom and my aunt here, so it's not that lovely. Okay. Oh, You're free to jump in whenever you want. And in, in case we Thanks. don't speak uh, again uh, before, the new, you know, before the new year starts, uh, Happy New Year. Thanks, man. Happy yeah. Happy, new year, happy new year to you and my friend Rom. <laughs> Later. See ya. See you. Yeah, you guys too. Oh, we will try. <laughs> okay, things. The desperation of Zeus. His allies conquered, but still he lashes out like a cornered beast. We stand at the precipice of victory, my champion. At the end of a road bricked by sacrifice. Poseidon, my brother. Ares, my foolish boy. At long last, the reign of Zeus is at its end. With the combined powers of the gods, you are his equal in might. No I word for Athena, apparently. 
so that you may ascend to the summit of Olympus. Storm the inner sanctums of his palace. Let us together cut low the king of gods. Plume of Hera. His immaculate peacock feather brooch carries the powers of matriarchy and matrimony, but also harbors dark secrets of deception and jealousy. The holy censers that guide the path to the fortress of Zeus may be lit. Any lock door may be opened without lock picks. Okay. Names of the daggers he has thrust into my back. Nicandrios. The name of the dagger I shall thrust into his. Looks like we may be too late though, since it seems that there's not much of humanity left, if any. And you got a new sword. The uh, upgrade I see. Now I've been carrying this one around for a bit already. It's the the bloodthirsty Amethyst. It's the life stealing one. I think it'll okay. be a, a good, pretty good one to use against Zeus. Let's do some fire. Let's... We don't have any. A guide port enter at the moment it seems, but we can at least still go looking around. Hmm. And I'm guessing it ow. I'm guessing we have as as strong as armor as we can at the moment. It, it, okay. Another <laughs> these I kept lost. Okay. Point for them, though, I was intruding, but on them, they were squatting here. And they attacked first. Well, it, it, said, it did say abandoned house. Hmm. I'm going so to need this more healing not items. Their home. Okay. Oop. Uh, there. Okay. New club. Repair kits. Okay, what's hidden up here? Urchaker's hammer? Imbued with Poseidon's might, this unassuming stone mallet has the power to shake mountains. Okay. Say that again, please. Earth Shaker's hammer. There we go. For all it was a lag on my end, it suddenly said Earth Shaker's <laughs> hammer. <laughs> That's why I said read that again, please. For again, I don't know if that was you misspeaking or there was a lag. <laughs> Says again, Earth Shaking sounds like a. Wait a misread. Yeah. Okay, we can go to Zeus straight from here. Okay, we could go looking around. Hold on. Powers? Wait. Does that mean that there's still some stuff to be found in places? Because. Oh, there might be. Let's see, there's this that staff. We have we have Prometheus's tools, but that other thing that that's that healer staff, I think. So uh, it also shows how many of the chests we found in the area. Let's see this. Something in the Agora here. And something in the Acropolis. And then there is Zeus, and well, that's very obviously going to be his lightning bolts. Hmm. Okay, let, let me look around a bit longer then, and again, fireworks are going off in the background. Luckily, I'm not hearing them. I do see the ma I do see Don't things start. moving on the uh, microphone uh, sound meter. Hmm. 
Let's see, there's some locked doors over here. Right next to the abandoned house. Hmm. Now, so leave, leave it to Hera, the untrusting one, to be the one who has a skeleton key for everything. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see, what's hidden around here? Also, who the heck leaves a lot of these up on the roof? Someone who needs access to their hidden space. Okay, we don't need to pick up lockpicks anymore because we have the ultimate one. Oh. Okay, suddenly dogs. <laughs> it, it could be worse. Or Wrought by Hephaestus himself, this magical you know, smithing tool can turn anything to gleaming armor. Enemies drop armor pieces when killed. Okay. Not only if we kill them with that thing. Hmm. Useful steel. Uh, yeah. Oh gosh, now I remember that Hercules movie with uh, the rock. This. It wasn't bad, but it was rather disappointing. Like, Hercules never fought Cerberus. It was he was his mind uh, had morphed the three wolves that attack his family into one Cerberus. Okay. Yoink. It was, it was a little of a behind the myth, like the height of the height of three guys using... Something to swim in the swamp with. Just a lot of that. Which We're free. Many people Thank don't you. like. We are free to return to the forests oh. of Our Lady. Present this flower to the shrine of the nymphs, and you shall be blessed. Blossom of Artemis. Thank you. We are free to return to the forests of the tip of <clears throat> okay. okay, so this fucker here had nymphs captive. Or well. You can guess what one would keep Nims captive for. So, so you know you're quite a hypocrite, a hypocrite, right? Oh, finally, freedom from that monster! Just take what you want to leave. I cannot travel in. Uh, the, <laughs> the dog got loose. Yeah. There we go. Nothing else here, nothing else. Yeah, stuff like that makes you feel a lot less worse about breaking and entering, huh? Especially when it involves breaking someone's neck of that type. Someone of that type's neck. And apparently Nicandrius can lock fix things with his feet. What do you? I want to know everyone could. Oh wait, sorry, I thought you had, you had two peg legs. <laughs> uh, do you just... Did, did you just with break the again? his voice line? <laughs> yep. Okay, there's more over here. Okay, this is at least past. At least the guards here are far less annoying than the flying ones. Refugee common house. Okay. Well, we can go check what that red thing below is next. Because it's a symbol I haven't seen elsewhere yet. Wait, have we been here before? This looks like we've oh, been sure. here before. Yeah, don't give me a reason to attack you, and I won't attack you. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like we've been hit through this before. Okay. What the heck is music and the singing? It is definitely a, a very... Uh, what would be the... Uh, yep. Yeah. I'm trying to describe it as well. Ethereal style? Oh. You won't get far 
Maybe. I, I see where you're going. Like laundry. Might be correct. <laughs> There's just something funny about how to just fly over and fold in midair. Yeah. Okay, this one I don't think I've heard before. There. He flew from a poke. <laughs> hmm. I'll definitely be. Yeah. <laughs> Do we just constantly resurrect or something, my dudes? Yeah. Probably a card shift. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably take There's a look at the uh, at the uh, soundtrack of this game after we're done. There, Shield of Thorns. Grounded from thick bramble vines, this jagged shield cuts into any attacker who dares strike against it. Returns damage to melee attackers. Okay. I took thorn shield literally. Yeah. No. Actually, I would not be surprised if uh, a sheet of thorn is actually an actual term and maybe from some myth. I would not be surprised at this point. Uh, sorry, go on. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if some uh, tribes, like say the Zulus, would use uh, thorn shields. I think they uh, actually yeah. trained their soldiers with uh, thorn bushes, so it wouldn't be too surprising for them to try and use those for offensive defense. And there's an invisible wall there. I'm not surprised if any cultures would have used the thorn shields and uh, improvised the uh, weapon combat. I sort of remember to put the thorns on the correct side. Yeah. Like, you don't want the thorns on the inside of the shields. I hear the war is going well. Won't be long before we can go back home. Let's see. I'm exploring around now to see if there's any place more that we can go, like here. Now, what are we going to find here? A guard. Hello. Guardhouse key. And so Zeus cut from the hands of the Hecan carries three times. Uh, 10 times 100 knuckles. From the bones, he crafted the legion of loyal sentinels to watch over Olympus and ensure peace in these troubled times. Okay, so that's what yeah, that, that's the story behind these guards. And I'm pretty sure that Hecaton Curies, that was a titan or a beast that had like a hundred arms, a hundred faces, or something like that. A was lot, it a typhoon? at least. Hmm? Was it a typhoon? Maybe the father I... of monsters, uh, husband mm. of Echidna. So Knuckles' father. More well, father of the Hydra, Cerberus, and other things. You... Uh... <laughs> Again. Yep. Uh, to be honest, I would have. <laughs> they would have started the fight anyways for me trying to open this up. But honestly, I'm a bit surprised they didn't. St start the moment that this thing became active. Hello, box. Let's see. Yeah, just some arrows and a weapon. But then again, there's also all of this for us to loot. Yoink. Oh, dear. Um, be right back. I just gotta grab myself something to drink as some snacks. Okay. So... Don't die. <laughs> Let's see. Are they going to get annoyed for me coming out of here? Him, yes. <laughs> Why are you idiots fleeing towards the violence then? Let me fill up on these. 
Uh, let's spend some of those. Give me that. Okay. A soul keeper or scroll keeper's office he needed. Okay. And in the meantime, just the merchants are just going about their business <laughs> like it's every other day. Ooh, Black market. Get you just about anything for a price. All right, we we kept finding weapons that would get added to the black market, and well, here we are with them. Ooh. Assassin stash key. For those who need to hide their dirty deeds, all you need uh, all, yeah, all you need can be found at the bottom of a swamp. Okay. Hmm. I'll buy a burning blade off of him since we broke our previous one, I believe. Oil up. Today you train with the best. And we might as well get in some training for extra damage. I think I'll mostly go for spears and blades. Okay, since those are the ones we use the most. And he can only train us to level three, it seems. Uh, both the, I think we've maxed out both of the merchants, or the armor merchants. So we could only find upgrades out in the world for that. Open up. Yeah, right. We already looted that, so we, we can't break it. Okay, so there are still some things that we could find all over the place. There's still that gold mine as well. And we need a scroll a keeper's key. Yeah. What's the gold? Not here at the moment. It's on. It's in Poseidon's domain. Alright, and hello, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. And you almost hmm. made me laugh. As I just turned around the door, I heard the NBCs just shout this to stop you. <laughs> okay, there's a door down there, but wait, wasn't that the door that led to the sewers, which led to Hades' domain, which I still consider an insult to put <laughs> Hades' domain underneath the sewers? Uh, but first, there's the Shrine of the Nymphs that we need to find here for that blessing for freeing those nymphs. Uh, think about it. Where do you think most bloodbaths on streets goes to? Down to, yeah, the, to sewers. the sewers, of course. But it's still a bit of an insult to put <laughs> to put Hades' entire domain underneath there. I had to put him somewhere. Yes. Uh, Any of those? What now, my good sir? Body nymphs or something like that, he was going to say. Okay. Oh, oh, hello. We can certainly use these. Uh, forge hammer, assassin's arrows, and aphis shields. And, well, as many healing items as we need, it seems. Okay. Let's make a few of these as well. Do you hear each sound from that you use sounds like you're drinking. <laughs> uh, to me, it sounds more like grinding something in a mortar and pestle. Yes, when I hear those things, you take a quick sip from a drink or something like that. Okay. Or on a long snowbank. Ish. And so there's still that thing to find somewhere in the Agora. And still five more chests. I'm not going to go for everything here, because that's typically not our style. But let's see. Is there any other area here that is a bit darkened out? Or could there be some hidden area underground somewhere? Hmm. Actually, I th I get the feeling that that upgrade is going to be in the, in the office in the Agora market. Oh, hold on, there's a locked door over that way. Hello there, good sir. Hello. Yeah, it looks like he's just what? guarding some stuff. Hmm. He remains unflinched of you. Booped his face with your groin. 
Okay, let's look around a bit more here, see if we can find that healer staff, which I'm going to presume is either going to be damage reduction for us or increased healing. Or further increased healing to ward it better. Now, whose place is this? Your yeah, place, probably. Hmm. Actually, not much to find, except for all goats. of this here. Oh well, might as well play the vandal. Hmm. You do know what a vandal actually is, right? Yeah, I know it used to be a tribe, uh, but beyond that, uh, not too specifically. You don't know what the Vandals did? Uh, besides vandalizing? Oh, they conquered Rome for a short bit. <laughs> yes, the Vandals for a short time ruled the r Rome. Bonk me on the head for a moment. It's... I forgot to do how they lost control of it though. Could be infighting. This tends to happen with many Actually, things. I think it wasn't an infight, it's more of they were just the, the I think it was something more I may really had to look this up. I feel like my belly stem or something along the line they there was so that they realized uh, something along the line of we cannot control all this domain. Let's see, what have Basically, we... Basically, it was more work than I ever prepared for. <laughs> Which well, tends to be a common thing with empires, huh? Yeah. And again, again a bit of a disappointment here. On it. I will probably look it up later, if I remember to look it up later. Let's see, there's a chest but over that way. I do Focus. recommend people to look up about vandals. It says, what I'm saying might be wrong, it says... What heck, I learned about them from History Channel, I think. Ten mm -hmm. years ago or so, so... You. Anything funny, and I'll report you to the guards. We can't... Wasn't Fotis the one that gave us that note that led to an ambush? Yes? Uh-oh. Uh yep. He's on his way up, he must be stopped. The stability, the stability of the cosmos depends on it. Act as an ally to his cause, give him this key, and we'll spring the trap. When you've done that, meet us under the, under the stairs to the Olympian uh, gates for your payment. Okay, so guess we're going back to the Olympian gate for a bit then, after we've looted here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and once again, that can view is just fold someone like the laundry. <laughs> Spark pellets and flask of warding, but we already have the max. And we have say, I have some seen something more epic than what the Candius has done. Oh. Uh, I, when I played a bit of modern to the Warhammer 2 with the Amazon mod. For some reason, all the Amazonian heroes make a spear poke against the Minotaur, and somehow the bugger, he, he died, but he also flew bloody 20 meters away from her. <laughs> Again, yes. a Minotaur. They are massive in Warhammer. Yeah. And apparently there also exists in the Elder Scrolls games. I actually never knew that, or I just plain forgot. Well, then was the Emperor, actually. Okay. <laughs> I think even the, the first Emperor, even. Did I just find this hidden thing here? I, I, I forgot who was the first Emperor or not, the first Minotaur. But many Minotaurs had turned to Sanford. They used to be loyal to the Empire. Okay. But there is uh, many theories where they are still... Uh, where you still find Minotaurs around Imperial ruins from the early Empire days. Okay, that would have been a perfect spot to hide something up there. Let's see, there is something up over to the right. Hmm. 
Let's go take a look over there. And yeah, let's see. Who's wait, is this? Yeah, I sing of Selenian Hermes, the slayer of Argus, Lord of Silene and Arcadia, rich in flocks, luck bringing messenger to the deathless gods. He was born of Maya, the daughter of Atlas, when she had made with Zeus, a shy goddess she. <clears throat> Ever she avoided the throng of the blessed gods and lived in a shadowy cave, and there the son of Kronos used to lie uh, with the rich tressed nymph at the dead of, uh, at dead of night, while white armed Hera lay bound in sleep in sweet sleep, and neither deathless god nor mortal men knew it. But as has been proven well plenty of times, eventually Zeus <laughs> gets found out again. Let's see. Master Hermes, messenger of Olympus, is indefinitely indisposed. Please hold all outgoing dispatches until further notice. Inquiries and complaints can be made to Epistates, Castor of the Olympian Acropolis. Okay, so... <laughs> Hermes is on strike. I really guess Hermes doesn't support the war. That's also, true to both of you. What the heck? I did not know Hermes was a warrior. And then again, most of these the gods have to fight sooner or later. And we need a seal of Hermes to open this door. Oh, Rose me! Hmm. Something I something that have had the flu in my head, I've not seen a single trail about it. That's a new Percy Jackson movie. Oh, that's been a bit. And another yeah. invisible wall. I would have noticed in poor sense. I, I watch YouTube on PlayStation, which means they will show me about uh, Netflix and Disney Plus and such. And yeah, before I even click on uh, the apps there, it shows me an icon of uh, the new uh, Percy <laughs> Jackson movie on Disney Plus. <clears throat> I heard that a lot of people are expecting there to be a bit of a streaming crash coming up because they've been losing a lot of value, I believe. Okay, one more and locked so door. Many, oh, House of Castor. A lot of uh, competition, like... Yeah. Everyone tries to do the stream platform, which I feel like... Ever since I knew, noticed more and more people are making their own stream platform, I knew that... <laughs> It would not work. The reason people went to Netflix and such was because, all right, we have Netflix, or we have this one, fine. But when everyone's make their own platform, yeah, that's gonna be a problem. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, the, the reason and that streaming became popular in the first place was because. Yeah, what basically streaming is now getting into is that network cables were just getting so spread out and thin on content that it just became impossible to, uh, yeah, just get all the content you wanted without having to spend like hundreds a month to just get access to every uh, thing. And that's the point where streaming is at now. Since everyone yeah. wants to have their own slice of the pie, there's just so many slices of pie that there's more slice than pie. Yeah, and when the streaming was in a good state, when it was very few of them, people wouldn't mind paying for them, and at least they knew they could watch it safely. Since mm. watching it on a spe uh, special sites has always been an iffy thing. But now, when there are so many of them, yeah, I do not believe, I, I, I understand why people are going back to do sites. Yeah. When it's easier to pirate something than it is to gain it to le legitimately, people will pirate. And this also, this, that's also with gaming, with a lot of old games, the abandoned wear and such, like games that you just cannot get uh, legally anymore because there's never, uh, there's just no. God uh, <clears throat> oh, damn it! There's uh, uh -oh. the game is out of print and it's not digitally available, 
So, literally the only ways to get it are to spend uh, who knows how much money on the private market for an, a second-hand copy, which might not even work. Or to just emulate it. Yeah... And yeah, when it's just easier to emulate, people gonna emulate. Yeah, like, there are many things that do think we are done well over the generations and improving. But also other things I feel like... It seems to be a sign of that something is gonna happen soon. <laughs> that there will be uh, one of those crashes, but not just one, there's gonna be many. upstart that's been usurping the gods. Olympus is changing. New gods will take the place of the old, but Zeus will always remain on his golden throne. Protect the masters! Okay, who the heck is Castor? Like, I'm, I'm decently well-versed with Greek mythology and such, but I'm far from an expert or such. Yeah, the only caster I know of is from 40k, and you know which caster that is. There we go. Hmm. Yep. <laughs> Assassin list. He is becoming a nuisance. Hermes is sympathetic to the humans, and I cannot trust him with such an important imposition any longer. Gather your list, Castor, and you and your men will be well rewarded. One, Aristetus of the Acropolis, Mylas, servant of Hephaestus, Chrysus of the Agora, Acmon, warrior of Poseidon, Pactolus, vassal of Poseidon. Okay, are those people we could talk to to get support, perhaps? Might be. But yeah, I was right. Hermes are support to humanity. Mm. Okay. Ah. There. Some more weapons. New shields. And what have we here? Okay, not really worth it, but it's worth a refill. There. Hmm. I do wonder now just how much content I originally missed when playing through this game. And, yeah. Me describing it as a sort of metroidvania is a bit wrong, since we aren't really getting new abilities that give us access to new areas. But still, it's very much worth to explore around. And I was in metroidvania like. Uh, yeah, a bit perhaps, and I'm guessing, yeah, that symbol is. Uh, <laughs> that symbol means that one of those stupid sentries is over there. Bloody heck. Oh, but I put the name of the YouTuber. I put it was... Oh, but what is his name again? A YouTuber who has said he doesn't like the term Metrovania. Hmm. Uh, uh, he has done a lot of old games reviews, and we have talked about him before. I'm drawing a blank then. Yeah, he, he's one of the many who did the uh, uh, Brainman reviews. Uh, uh, was it? Was it? Ant? Something? Uh, Rad, Rad or something? Who? I, I, I know I will recognize the name and the person when I see them. I, I know I'm subscribed to them, but I'm, for, I'm blanking on their name at the moment. I think they recently got a custom uh, a custom controller onto the market with a style after them. But I am just blanking out any further than that. Retro ants? No. It might be Retro Brad. Mm. It might be. Yeah. I, again, I will, I, I'm gonna have to double check. Later. That's... There. Yep. But yeah, basically how this he he had to put up a term he liked better. I so I suddenly forgot what term he used. Okay. 
Let's see. Some new weapons again. And blast mine and a speed potion. Okay. Is that what it's the reward was? Or hmm. Well yeah. I do remember. He brought this up the term up in his uh Suedo Regalia review. Not sure if I've seen that. But yeah, for now, I, I think we yeah, I think we've uh, run around enough now. So let's go see and find Zeus. Okay, and of course he has his own little space away from everyone else. Okay. Let's patch that armor up first. Yeah. Okay, simple as that. Defeat Zeus. And of course he's going to take issue with us trying. Yeah. Zeus said, Hera, let us devote ourselves to love and to the enjoyment of one another. Never, uh, never yet have I been so overpowered by passion, neither for goddess nor mortal woman, as I am at this moment for yourself. Not even when I was in love with the wife of Ixion, who bore me, not going to try, peer of gods and counsel, nor yet with Daini, the daintily ankled uh, daughter of Acrisius, who bore me the famed hero Perseus. Then there was the daughter of Phoenix, who bore me Minos and Radamanthus. Uh, there was Selim and Alcumene in Thebes, by whom I you know, begot my lion-hearted son Heracles, while Samil became mother to Bacchus, the comforter of humankind. There was uh, Queen Demeter too, and lovely Leto and yourself, but none, <clears throat> with none of these was I ever so much enamored as I am now with you. I don't think bringing up all of your affairs as you're professing your love is a good idea, Zeus. <laughs> Yet the, the, uh. the first men were sculpted from the earth and clay. They were good and noble. Gods and men lived together in harmony. Each knew their place. A golden age. And now he's just going to lecture at, uh, at us. Oh, look, like I was thirsty. <laughs> he blew himself up there. I missed that, but I was drowning a in my pint. Pint of, uh... ACP, or whatever you call it. It's not mm -hmm. a soda, but you could probably mistake it for soda. Okay. Fortress key. Let's not try and fall off, because it's probably going to be a long climb back up. And these idiots are doing plenty just to hurt themselves. <laughs> You're the real big nuisance here. Oop. Oop, mirror shield, I'll take that. Polished to a shine and magically enchanted by Athena's wisdom, the shield will reflect any missiles that strike its smooth uh, surface. Okay, definitely keeping that. That, that might be the biggest barrier yet. But stop hitting me in the face. I can't travel while in combat, of course. <laughs> Send hint traveling, that's for certain. They forgot the blessings given to them by the gods and were punished for their reverence. A lesser age, a silver age. Are you going to start quoting comics at me, else? <laughs> Zeus. Uh, next up, he's going to complain why is uh, why uh, Silver Age Falcon Superman isn't as good as Golden Age Superman. Oh dear! Lightning spark. Give me 
all of those. And yeah, when our health is full, the heal button will revert automatically to... <clears throat> to the uh, armor repair kits instead. Of course. Hmm. But yeah, I, I think I've said this a time or two before, but once we are done with this game, I'm kind of feeling like fast-forwarding uh, Age of Mythology into a, a side stream uh, or a side quest uh, slots. I'll be up for it. But we did say we were to go with David the Diver of the Amphotheon. Um, True, but after that we can probably do oop, Age of Mythology then. Most definitely. Let's see. Once upon a time, there were gods only and no mortal creatures. But when the time came that these uh, should also be created, the gods fashioned them out of earth and fire and various mixtures of both elements in the interior of the earth. And when they were about to bring them into the light of day, they ordered Prometheus and Epimetheus to equip them and to distribute to them sev uh, several, uh, sev severally their proper qualities. Okay, there's no real needs. Okay, let's let's take this fight here because I get the feeling if I fight near that key, we're just going to get knocked off the edge. Protect your loins, because that's why I just stabbed you, you idiots. Give me that. Ooh. Okay, he has one of those quake hammers. Oh. You're going to need multiple, it seems. There. Return that one to the ground and keep him there. Number two. And there was an enemy in red that I saw a bit earlier that I don't think we've seen before. And I very much get the feeling that that was a healer. And we're going to need a third one. Hmm. Where is that other one then? That was a bit waste. It will. In there. Give me all of that. Might as well pick that up. Let's out. Next key is to the right. And looks like we can. Okay. okay, where did we. I picked up one of those lightning sparks, but where did it go? Also, what happens if we do this? It's just, just going to. Yeah, that's just going to summon a bunch of them. Okay. Not the best idea. Uh oh. Okay, that was just a bit of smug bait that I fell for. <laughs> something, something. I used to be a cyclops like you, but then I took a Sarisa to the knee. Oh god. And have you ever wondered what does an extra spike at the back of the Sarisa spear? When they be did their formations, most series was so long that they needed a spike to hook it to the ground and make them stable but to survive a calorie charge. <laughs> Like, okay. And those 
Those spear wolves were terrifying. Next to rose men of war, hard and proud. Battle was their only achievement, and upon their own brazen spears they fell. A bronze age. Some more healing. And yeah, Zeus really is just uh, lecturing us about the uh, good old days. That. And yeah. It seems that the lightning sparks will blow up, you know, or just get destroyed if we don't use them. They will stick around until we do pick them up. And now, roots. Really, can I get you with your own arrow? <laughs> okay, I'm a bit surprised that there wasn't an achievement for that. Oh. Replacements. One key. Yep. Okay. One more below. Don't want to risk jumping off and falling all the way down again. It, of course. Oh god, here's the Rebbits of the Comic Con. Ew. I, I forgot which of the philosophers said that, that humans are descendants from birds. But one other philosopher, there's an outrage by this, he took a plump chicken, or he, he, I forgot what bird, plump bird it was, he took it and threw it as he feet and shouted, There's you, human! Now, I'm thinking here, uh, I know this, you have it a bit wrong there, I think. The second one is uh, the philosopher that lived in a barrel. And, but it wasn't, it, I think he had more issue with the, a more vague description of what a human being was supposed to be. Also, yes, those are healers. So he, I, I think he described humans to be as, uh, as featherless uh, creatures, or some you know, creatures with neither feather nor hide, so he did in indeed pluck a chicken and chuck him at him uh, <laughs> during one of his lectures. Yeah, for I was a bit, I remember they said he is you who human as they described it. He said it. I do really mockingly uh, in process of the idea of uh, humans and birds are being related. Uh, again, I'm blanking on the name, but basically they were the Same. philosopher who is basically just trolling all the other ones. Like oh yeah. Sinis I think his style was named Cynicism or something. Whatever that came from it. Let me just deflect it as a boulder. Okay, she... Okay, she... Houses down to reach you. He is unable to... <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Soon, we, there was we need to remember We gods loved you and cherished you. Sprung from our unions, champions and demigods enacted great deeds upon the earth. A heroic age. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. There. Okay, just in time I remember to just to mute. <clears throat> to mute the browser so the clip wouldn't start playing audibly in the background. The heck was... what flew there? 
<laughs> Zeus, were you planning that one? Oh god, no, I'm gonna remember a lot of things like... I forgot which philosopher this was, but he was the, talking to an oracle, and she said he would die at a sh soon time or something. And when he walked out, a bloody eagle dropped a turtle on top of his head and he died. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's a chest of the theorized that the eagle may have mistaken the all full officers head for a stone. Yeah, because they were drops thing uh, shelled stuff on stones to try and crack them open. Still I mean, an embarrassing way to go. Yeah. Like part of me don't want to laugh at it, but it's not not too. Yeah, it's so absurd that it becomes a bit hilarious. Yeah. It makes me wonder how he has his how his love life is. Probably with a, a cracking headache. Well, that that or a cracking headache for all the time time people would not stop talking about how he died. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's this? Zeus, the Olympian Lightner, called all the Deathless Gods to Great Olympus and said that whosoever of the gods would fight with him against the Titans, he would not cast him out of his rights. But each should have the office which he had before amongst the Deathless Gods. He said too that the god who under Cronus had gone without position or privilege should uh, under him be raised to these according to justice. So basically rallying, well, everyone for the fight and the war against the Titans. Also, I'm, there's a chest over there, but I'm pretty sure whatever's in there is not going to be worth the <laughs> fighting through all of this, so... Let's take the long way around and see if we can lose some of uh, them. Yeah, the statue has lost interest. This one still remains, though. There. Okay. Just gotta wait out these laws, too. Come on. Get lost. You've probably got some gardening to do or something. Whatever you do up in the clouds here. Maybe if you weren't such a, sh a shit dad to everything in existence, maybe it would never have come to this. Ow. Okay. Guessing this is going to be the last one. Dagger shield, vigor. Okay. Go, move Mattis. One of those. Extra armor. Okay. No interest in just a little crossbow. And of course, immediately one of these runs over to hit me in the head with a hammer. <laughs> Nothing of use. There is a shield, but not a stronger one. Actually... Yep. 
Deal with the healer. Hmm. That reminds me, isn't Hermes in part also a god of healing? Hmm. Yeah. This stuff is uh, usually a symbol for healing. Mm -hmm. And so you see it usually in the uh, hospitals. It does make you question why his people are aiding here then, but I'm guessing they don't know that uh, Harry, that Hermes is against all of this. New shields. Wait, do we have multiple shields? No, no, it just looked like that for a moment. So Zeus needs to work on his aim. Follow is an era of long needed rest, where the gods are once again alone in the universe. A solemn age, a dark age. Okay, how many of these are going to come alive? Okay, none. The, the thoughtless man understands the voice of the deity as little as the child understands the man. Sounds more like the thoughtless god does not understand that which he creates. Sanctum of Thunder. My secrecy is unraveled. I am caged. Strike fast. Strike him down in the name of Hera. Silence, wife. Keep your treacherous tongue lest I cut it from your mouth. Your desperate schemes are foiled only by your own improvidence. I speak to your pawn, whose power has far outstripped your ability to wield him. So... Assassin, my cow-eyed queen may have set you loose on my siblings, my children, her siblings, her children. That she would sink to such depravity is unforgivable. She will be punished as befits such a traitor. But I see in your eyes that you do not fight for her sake. What is done cannot be undone, Nicandrios. The final chapter of humanity has already been closed. There is nothing left for you to fight for. Surrender your stolen powers. They were never yours to command. Join the rest of your people in blissful oblivion. Now, Ink is crawling out from underneath my bed. Uh, I think you're forgetting something, Zeus. When you leave someone with nothing to... Uh, with nothing to fight for, they have nothing to lose either. Looks like we can't yeah. damage him at the moment. Oh, hello. Why are you marked out? <laughs> okay, that was... <laughs> that was Ink bumping her head against my leg, wanting to get the attention. <laughs> yep. Oh, that's why. Because what better way to fight <laughs> fire than with other fire? Don't try to fight fire with fire, you'll just burn your home down. Really, did you have to strike your own dick with lightning there, Zeus? <laughs> okay. There. Yeah. When he has that, that field, similar to our warding effect, he is invulnerable until we strike him with lightning. Oop. Damn it, did not. That is one thing that annoys me a little bit, that my cannibals will use a healing potion even, even when he only has like two health missing. The, the programming on that could have been a little bit better, maybe. Thanks for the boost, Zeus. There. Let's see, how does the blood of a god taste to this thing? Nope. Um. 
Don't taste it. You're the one who's been fucking with humanity, dickheads. Why does he keep hitting his dick with lightning like that? Is he getting off on it? I hear you. Well, humanity still exists as long as my counterbill still stands. Yeah. Okay. Grab some water. Dude. Get up. work yes it okay it will break it near instantly but still oh, okay yeah we are meant to use the mirror shield to have him hit himself now Ow. Yeah, that makes sense. i will go to ask you about that if that you meant to use that against zeus it worked against Medusa, it'll work against him. I need that shield. Can you hear you? If you're if you're offering to surrender, Zeus, please go ahead. It'll save you a lot of pain in the ass I'll, as I get struck in the ass by lightning. Oh. Uh, I just looked at the time. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe are you done with this earlier than expected? Mm. Now. If he doesn't kill me, that is. It's a good yeah. thing that I figured out that we can roll even after jumping, because it does add quite a bit of mobility. Yeah. You know what? If we finish this early, should we play David Howard depending how much time we have remaining? Mm, maybe. Okay, here's an annoying thing that, that the shield will break no matter if. if if we manage to land a hit or reflect the hits on him or not. Give me that. Yeah, depend depending on how much time we may look at doing a bit more Dave. Hmm. Yeah, like one well, hour day I would be okay with, but if it was four to five or half an hour day, I would be hesitant. Forged in ancient times by powerful cyclopses, this blazing weapon carries the power of storms and absolute authority. It is the ultimate judgment of Zeus. Grants the use of thunderbolts. Yeah, that one always confused me. Either, either have faced us or strike us paid it. I have done it. The mighty Zeus falls. Fall. Fall to Tartarus. I hope Father Cronus cuts off your tiny shriveled manhood. <laughs> you whoring, sneaking, arrogant, fat old goat! <laughs> come, Nicandrios, come, my champion. Release me from these chains. Release your queen! <laughs> no! Free me at once, Nicandrios! I command it! How about you, no? You ungrateful little wolfling! How dare you turn your back to the Queen of Olympus, to the matriarch of the gods themselves! You'd be dead and rotting if not for my mercy! You pathetic brat thing! You were less than nothing! I gave you immortality! I gave you power! You are worthless without me! 
And you would have cast me aside the moment you could, if it weren't for the chains that hold you now. So, uh, have fun, Hera. You can consider yourself a permanent housewife now. Or will the game... Ah, there we go. Over to the Olympian Gates. Actually, can we smite her? I was trying to... <laughs> I was trying to take aim... ...by holding the, the shield button. There we go. That's going to solve <laughs> future problems. Plus, we already have her powers. She is she is literally useless to us. And now we get to play with thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening for them. Ow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if we do fall, we just get teleported back, it seems. Probably for the best. <laughs> Shown there. I, I thought this would just be a shortcut back down, but no. Okay. <laughs> How long was one of you meant to do that? And yeah, this is cathartic now, huh? To just rush through the bunk. <laughs> Be the one smiting at our leisure. Okay, and here we are again. Okay, nothing left for us here. But to see if anything can be salvaged. I have conquered the terrible King Kronos. Emerge victorious through the Titan Wars. Crush the giants of the Gigantomachy and cage the monstrous Typhon. I will not be undone by something so lowly as you. What? what? Now all that is left is a one-on-one -on -one brawl with the big man himself. Oh, what, Zeus? I was wondering who the heck that was. <laughs> okay, now it is all just a matter of skill, though, since we don't have our healing nectars anymore. And so far, he is winning, so this may take a few tries. Yeah. One moment I thought it would have e a bit of easy years to dig the diver, but now... Yeah, that comes to question. <laughs> Honestly, it's... Only now? Uh... Again, okay. I am open to for one hour dig the diver. I'm up for that. But this all comes to the hill here. So I almost just called Dave. <laughs> okay, the problem that we have here is that his attacks come out pretty quick as well and will still hurt us even if we block it or not. Because it seems that if he blocks, it is completely absorbing the attacks. So we need to get underneath his <laughs> attacks quite literally like there. Or just get in his face and keep <laughs> keep cutting underneath his guards. I'm pretty sure we should have cut off his dick with that one there. I think you've been doing that a few times now. 
It's really even. Okay, we can't roll either. There we go. And so Zeus falls and a new god rises. Yeah, but almost falls still just from the fact that he is on a sliver of hell. And at least, the, he, at least Nicandrios has the decency to put on a pair of pants. Uh, those are not pants. Close enough. Okay, the animals have returned. The sun has returned. The humanity. will need to be made anew. Hopefully with a less epoch... Uh, what is... I'm forgetting the word. Apothetic Pantheon, yeah. which is exactly where the title comes from. Apotheon, Apothetic Pantheon. Okay. Not a bad game. Definitely not. The, the combat takes some getting used to, and honestly saying, I probably still rather suck at it. But just the the work put into this game, the just the very idea as well, all very well done. Oh yeah. And also, as you can see, it's a bit of a small team. <laughs> Let's see: Dave and, and Devin Mack, Sonia Ball for Hera, Sun Wu Chu, Steve Ke and Kelly, the, the David Smith, Mike Varker, Andrew Dennis. Uh, can, a lot of voice actors, just for every character, or almost every character, a new one. Though I can't say I actively recognize anyone here. I, I think Poseidon was on the wrong side there, because they were in the place of the actual person's name. Okay. A centaur? No, the show was a centaur. A research centaur. Uh, okay. I get the feeling there is still plenty of this game that we haven't seen. Not too much, but still, if you're willing to look in every little corner, we probably would have found a centaur at some point. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we still have about one hour and twelve minutes to go. Um. Yeah, we we could do Dave the Diver with that, just a bit, bit a bit of a half episode. But for now, yeah, I, we are done with a Pothion. Yeah, I'm finally happy to finally see this game fully. <laughs> yeah, it it's not um, it's not the best kind of game out there, but it is still very well made. Yeah, do I can also see why some YouTubers why they did enjoy it. Do show a showcase of it. As we can see here, I can see why some YouTubers were a bit nervous to do a series on it. Yeah, like, if you get into a fight with the guards, they can just infinitely call for more if you don't kill them fast enough. I, I, I made more of the art style with the, some of the... Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, that as well, yeah. Yeah. It still makes YouTubers nervous when they play game, uh, games like like If YouTube doesn't state you will ban for it, it depends highly on context, but many will opt to the more <laughs> just-in-case situation. Yeah. Okay, but for now though, uh, yeah, we can cut the recording here, 
and move on to Dave the Diver. But for anyone who is just watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching and until next time, have a nice day and a, a good new year. Happy New Year and watch out for the new Scotch Dun on the seagulls. <laughs> and Hera's backstabbing.